COVID vaccination in cancer patients is definitely a matter of concern. COVID has become a much more dreaded infection or much more dreaded problem than cancer itself. Treatments modalities have changed significantly and many of the treatment modalities that we have now have become much more gentler on our patients. Hi, I'm Dr. Wesley Jose from Medical Oncology Department in Amrita Hospital at Kochi. Today I'm here to inform you of a few things that uh, a lot of patients have asked us. And uh, probably this is something that is very common as a question to many of the patients who are affected by cancer. Compared to what it used to be a, many, a few years ago, the treatments modalities have changed significantly. And many of the treatment modalities that we have now have become much more gentler on our patients. However, the fact that COVID in itself has created a fear and panic among patients have really caused us to suffer in terms of how cancer care is provided to the community. Patients who have a difficulty would prefer not to come into the hospital, primarily because of the fact that they have the fear of contracting this infection and probably the fear that COVID has become a much more dreaded infection or much more dreaded problem than cancer itself. So a lot of our patients who have actually had cancer diagnosed probably a few months ago or probably at the beginning of COVID-19 have delayed their treatment for almost six to 12 months, which has definitely led to a much advanced stage of cancer in these patients. So both in terms of diagnosis delay in diagnosis, and at times even in administering treatment, these patients have really suffered. So if I put it together, I would assume that most of the patients who have to have some form of cancer treatment have really suffered due to the COVID fear that, of the pandemic that has really engulfed the community around us. Now, cancer patients are definitely very different compared to patients who are in, in other, other uh, departments, like for example in uh, medicine or in, or in surgery, where you have an option of being very elective in the process or procedures that you're doing. However, in cancer patients, time is of essence. And at times when patients do come to you with an advanced stage of disease, the chances that the, these patients would suffer more difficulties, more pain, probably much intense form of chemo thereafter, or much uh, treatment might be lost because of the loss in window or the loss in therapeutic opportunities, there, are a there is a good chance that some of these patients might not make it across from their cancer diagnosis. So definitely, our patients are significantly different than other patients which come to the other departments in this institution. And a cancer care of, is of essence in terms of time. If time is lost, you do understand that patients would have an impact on their overall benefit in terms of survival. COVID vaccination has over a period of time gained momentum and it has also gained traction in our community. People have slowly started accepting it and it has become something that people are looking forward to. COVID vaccination in cancer patients is definitely a matter of concern uh, because there is not so much of evidence around us to suggest that it is absolutely safe or it is not safe. However, most of the cancer societies, both national as well as international, have looked at the literature and have recommended that every single cancer patient, those who are on not serious kind of immunosuppressive therapy should be provided COVID vaccination because the benefit definitely outweighs the risk that are involved. The biggest concern is whenever you give chemotherapy to patients, most of these patients do get immunosuppressed. That means their common immunity that they generally have might not be as effective. And in that case, if you're giving COVID vaccination, which is trying to improve your immunity, it is possible that the immune response might not be strong enough, which might need, lead to suboptimal benefit in these patients, which definitely means that these patients might not accrue as much benefit as they should have received when they would have got COVID vaccination if they were not cancer patients. But in spite of that fact, whatever is the benefit that might be achieved 
might be worthwhile because most of our patients are extremely careful and they not go out into the community or into the society to get a COVID infection. So it is better that a COVID vaccination is given to these patients instead of avoiding it altogether. But there is a small group of patients who should not be getting COVID vaccination and the doctor who is treating you would be able to give you the best answer to that question. I hope I have cleared a few doubts about these uh, concerns that people have about COVID vaccination and cancer. See you again next time.